I want to welcome you to my vegan kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a vegan tofu scrambled egg recipe. And these are some of the products that we're going to use in it. We've got our tofu, which I'm using an extra firm. So either a firm or an extra firm is okay. I'm going to be putting a little bit of mushroom in mine. That's optional for you. Turmeric. I got a clove of garlic. I'm going to use some uh, extra virgin olive oil some black pepper, then I'm going to use some, a little bit of salt, and then I am going to throw in a jalapeno because I like it a little bit more spicier, and then we have some nutritional yeast flake, and then I also like to put in a spice called spike, it kind of adds just a little bit more flavor to it, and then we'll be adding onions and mushrooms and sauteing them up. So let me go ahead and get my area prepped and I'll be right back and we'll begin with this recipe. Okay, one of the first things we want to do is we want to get our tofu prepped. Uh, we want to get it sliced and I'm going to put it between some paper towels and put a press on it so that way we can press the water out of it. Now for this recipe, you want to use probably about a half a block of tofu. But since I'm just making it for me, I'm going to probably use a little bit less. So I've already drained the water out of my tofu. Usually I just pick it up and just go ahead and decide how much you want to have. I cut it down. Then I take my paper towel and I'll cover it up and I'll put a press on it. And then I'll set this aside while we're preparing everything else. We have our frying pan already set up. We're gonna turn that on and get that warmed up. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil to it so I can start sauteing the mushrooms and the onions and the jalapeno. I have already have some onions already pre-cut up to save a little bit of time for this recipe. I usually use one small to a medium onion for this. All right, once our pan starts to heat up and you can tell, throw a couple onions in there and see if they start to sizzle a little bit. And they are. So we'll go ahead. This is about a medium onion right here. I'm not going to add it all. I'm going to put about a small onion's worth in there. You can kind of see how much I have in there. It's about a small onion. If you're making it for more than one person, of course, add more. Then give them a good stir. Now, I'm using a piece of portobello mushroom. Uh, usually, I use the small little bella mushrooms. I just didn't have any on hand right now. So I'm just using a, like a half of portobello. Now I'll just finally chop that up. I'll just move that to the side for a minute. And then I'm gonna grab a jalapeno. I'm gonna finally chop that up. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add all this to the frying pan. And let that all saute together. Give it a good stir, mix it all up. Okay, while we're letting this saute up, we're gonna go ahead and mix our spices that we're gonna add to this when we put the tofu in there. Okay, we're gonna add one teaspoon of nutritional yeast flake. Mmm, so good. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. That gives it color, gives it cherry color. Okay, and an ingredient I forgot to mention in the beginning was paprika. So we're going to go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Then we're going to add an eighth of teaspoon of black pepper. Now I've already grounded it up, save a little time. I usually add about a tablespoon and a half. And then we'll take and we'll mix all that up. As you can see, hopefully in there, there's our mix. It's our spices that we'll add that the tofu will take on the flavor of, along with everything in our pan. Go ahead. Those are sauteing up nicely. So we'll continue to let them saute up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut up our, our piece of garlic. 
and get it ready. There's one, and I got a small one here. So we'll peel the shell off of garlic. We'll go ahead and we'll just dice this up really fine. Try not to get a finger. You want to dice your garlic up really fine. That helps release the oils in there. Which are very good for you. Garlic being a natural antiseptic. And we're just going to add the garlic. We'll stir it all up. While everything is sauteing down. Ooh, that smells so good. And like I said, some of these ingredients you don't need to add like the jalapeno or the spike seasoning that I'll be adding here at, towards the end. And these are sauteed up pretty nice. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add our tofu. Now, what I like to do is actually, I just like to crumble it up. So it's like in the form of, you know, scrambled eggs. So I don't really cut it up. So as you can see, I just, I crumble it up just like it would be scrambled eggs. Of course, you could do it any way you want to. If you'd rather cut it up into little squares, that's the uniqueness about cooking. You can do it however you want to do it. Now we'll just go ahead and we'll mix all that up in there and we'll let that cook for just a little bit. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and add our seasoning to it. So the seasoning that we made earlier with the turmeric and the nutritional yeast and the salt and the pepper. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour it in there. Now we're gonna stir it around. As we're stirring it around, we're making sure that we get the color of the turmeric into the tofu. Makes it look like scrambled eggs. Of course, the taste is amazing. There. Then this is where I would add a little bit of the spike seasoning to it. And I don't add much, just a little bit. Okay, we will just let this cook for just a little bit longer for the tofu. And then we will have our tofu scrambled eggs. And then I'll plate it up for you. You can take a look at it and this video will be finished. And we'll go ahead and we'll put it on our plate. Okay, there's our tofu scrambled eggs all finished. And they are good and they look good. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on my channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I will be bringing you more vegan recipe cooking videos. And you all have a great day. Later.